the ID Tech X show here in Berlin. And who are you? My name is Steve Reinhardt. I'm Vice President of Business Development with Ubiquity. So, uh, what is uh, you, you, what is the Ubiquity? Ubiquity? What are you showing right here? So, our company is a manufacturer and developer of quantum dot materials. So, they are semiconductor, inorganic semiconductor nanoparticles, uh, around five to ten nanometers. And what we're doing is we're we're downshifting high energy light sources to different wavelengths or different emissions, different colors, if you will, uh, that can then be efficiently harvested by solar cells. Uh, in what we're, that's what we're showing here in the window application. So, so that's a window. That's a solar, solar window. cell. This is also a solar cell. Is different. Different. This what is what do you a, say? Greenhouse. So what we're doing in the greenhouse application is we're we're manipul manipulating the spectrum of light that the crop will see to improve uh, crop yield and plant growth. And so what you're seeing here is a, a effect called luminescent solar concentration. And you know, as you can see, as the light shines on, we're converting that light to a different color. That light is getting wave guided to the edge of the glass, at which point we uh, affix solar cells, and then we're generating power in the case of a you know, our fully transparent but tinted window. So a tinted window yep. uh, disperses the light that comes from anywhere to the sides. That's correct. And generates this amount of power right now. Yes, and you can see as when I shine more light on it, as you would out in the sun, then you generate significantly more power. And so in the window application, we're converting it to uh, visible light to near infrared emission, which is very efficiently harvested by the solar cell. So um, is this what the quantum dot... Uh, people are talking about quantum dot for TVs. So that's is doing, it also about wave guiding or directing light? Or? It's not about uh, wave guiding light. It's about uh, quality of color. So in TVs, you're using uh, blue LEDs, and then you're lighting up green and red quantum dots to create a full quality color light. So there's just some green ones and some red ones. Correct. That's it, yeah. and it's just lighting in them more or less. That's correct. Based on the colors. And it's yeah. So the, you have green and red quantum dots sitting in a film. The blue LED pumps those red and green quantum dots, and then you end up with a white with very pure colors. But you are also co uh, changing some colors right here. Your quantum That's dots correct. are like yellow, or uh, so that we can make any color between about 550 nanometers, which is green, all the way up to about 1300 nanometers in the near infrared. And so, in the window application, as I mentioned, we're using something around you know 850 to 950 nanometers, which is very efficient for traditional silicon solar cells to harvest. And why is it important to change the color? Uh, because it's it's more efficient for the solar cell is one. Uh, the second one is it imparts a more neutral color tint to the window. So if we you know nobody wants to have uh, orange windows in their house, uh, other than maybe in Las Vegas, a casino or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, what it does, it gives a nice neutral color tint uh, that architects uh, and building designers really want to have. But how about uh, the, this uh, wave guiding, the spreading of the? It's not reflecting all the light to the corners, right? Just part of it, or uh, so most what we're of doing, it goes through straight? A lot of it goes through straight, that's correct. So in the window application, we're targeting uh, to have about 50% uh, visible light transmission. And so it would go directly through. And then 50%, it's not, it, it's not used because you want to have light in the building. And then 50% would be converted to this near-infrared emission. It goes to the corners. That's correct. How do, how do those uh, yeah, yeah. side uh, solar panels no, no, no. look like? They're like small uh, areas, right? So they're small area traditional silicon solar cells that are then uh, you know just affixed to the edge of the glass. How about some other competing uh, uh, transparent window solar technologies? How efficient are they compared to yours? Uh, so I think ours are, are definitely on par. They are really our unique selling point is the ability to be tinted but fully transparent otherwise. So other competing things like organic photovoltaics, <laughs> I think the reliability is not quite as good and also you're going to have like a grid line, you know, lines running through the windows or a grid pattern, which architects, you know, really don't want to have. So you can either, you know, the other approaches are, you know, like that, or like people just try and make so, you know, traditional solar cells very, very thin, but they still have some optical distortion or or defects in the window. But you need to have squares this size, or you can have them much bigger. We can have them much bigger. So this is just a prototype that we can bring to the show. But we're working now on on panels that go up as big as a meter squared to do pilot projects, and then eventually we'll be doing things on, you know, two meter by three meter scale commercial, you know, skyscraper window volumes. So the, the, the quantum dots are like in a uh, liquid form or where, where well, are they? So when we make them, it's a solution based uh, process. Uh, we typically dry them down to a powder. Uh, but what we do is we then dissolve them into a polymer resin. And that, that uh, in, you know, basically polymer interlayer that's called in the window business is then laminated between two sheets of glass. So it's basically a laminated glass uh, structure.
Uh, what's the price? Is it going to be affordable? Uh, it'll be very... Make, make a building with your technology? Yeah, so we don't have a, a fixed price for the, for the system yet, but it, we've done some modeling with the National Renewable Energy Lab in Golden, Colorado, in the U.S., and uh, we're projecting now about a three to five year ROI for our product. Three to five year, that's it? Yes. How does it compare with others? systems? Uh, it's hard to say because the photovoltaics they vary so much, uh, but I think we're very competitive for a window and then we bring that unique uh, point of being you know, fully transparent and having zero, you know, Does by, the, This whole waveguiding thing where the light goes on the sides, could, could it uh, affect some kind of uh, visual artifacts kind of things or it's just going to be so smooth? It's going to be pretty smooth. I mean, I think, uh, I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> It's like a window. Yeah, it's like a window. And if you light it up, uh, yeah, you'll see the more power generating more power. Yeah. It's not doing any weird, uh, weird things. Yep. Nope. Other cool. than generating more power. So, uh, how far are you from this being huge? Uh, so, you know, right now we're still in the development stage. Uh, we have some some government grants from NSF and, and others uh, to work on this project. And you know, I think we're aiming for a commercial kind of target production in two to three years. And NSF is the National Science Foundation in the U.S. Okay, right.